the latest member of the Honolulu Police Department. The four-legged so-called robot dog by Boston Dynamics is there to assist officers navigate through certain situations amid the coronavirus pandemic. See, prior to COVID, officers would do in-person interviews with people at the city's coronavirus screening sites for homeless. But sometimes officers would have to quarantine for 14 days because of possible exposure to the virus. Police say having spot around will eliminate all that risk. The person will ask for food. They'll ask for water. They'll ask for masks. These are all things that we had to do face-to-face -face with someone, and we could facilitate through the robot. And that was the reason for it. The reason for it was to eliminate that. The Honolulu Police Department spent about $150,000 in federal pandemic relief money to buy the machine from Boston Dynamics. It uses technology that scans your eye to make sure you don't have a fever, helping ensure the health of officers, and will be used at a government-run tent near the airport. It's just an, um, like, like a, a gun or a chair or, or, or any kind of tool, um, just because the way it looks, the way it moves. Uh, it's new. But while the bot can help officers approach potentially harmful situations, assessing scenes before sending in officers, privacy watchdogs warn police are rushing into purchasing these gadgets before settling safeguards against aggressive, invasive, dehumanizing uses. Earlier this year, a robot dog became part of the New York Police Department, and after fierce backlash from advocates saying the technology represents over-militarization, the NYPD canceled its contract with Boston Dynamics in April, four months before it was set to expire. Now, while the NYPD faced fierce criticism for using the robot, the Honolulu Police Department says the public response so far has been positive. But experts do say the increased usage of robots among law enforcement is concerning, especially without any real mandates in place for when and how they would be used. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT.